Hi, this is Udi Tivosh from IOLAMA and today we're going to connect our SnapMaker 2 to Octopi. We've been using our SnapMaker 2 quite a bit and recently we moved from Luban, which is the default program that SnapMaker come with, into Kura and we're using the wonderful profiles from John Aldred to do so. I'm going to put a link in the description below. We've downloaded the Octopi image out of Octoprint and to do this you go to octoprint.org and click the big bright yellow download button and after you do this you get a set of instructions which you can follow this is fairly straightforward we're using balena etcher to etch the image onto an sd card and we've already done that so let's skip right into the action we've already connected our octopi to the network and we've also connected a camera to it so i'm just going to go through the configuration steps of everything we need to do to connect the snapmaker 2 into the octopi so i'm going to type in the address and hit enter and we're greeted with a fairly straightforward welcome screen and you're gonna see just how simple it is so I'm gonna click next hello hello a restore backup no we don't want to restore any backup access control so I'm going to use this password I'm not gonna tell you what it is and here we go and I'm confirming the password and clicking create account and that that was fairly easy here we go I'm going to hit next. I'm going to help uh, Octopi and I'm going to send them anonymous usage tracking. I'm okay with it. And I'm going to click next. I want to make sure that I'm able to connect to the internet. And this is because we're going to use the Telegram plugin. So I'm just going to do a quick test. Also going to make sure the DNS is working. And I'm going to do this. And this is also working. So everything is okay. I'm going, going to enable connectivity check and click next. I am going to, dis, uh, to enable the plugin blacklist processing because I want to make sure that nothing harmful goes on my server. I'm going to click enable and click next. Here I'm going to put my actual printer. So this is a SnapMaker 2 at, well, this is just the name of our office. And the model is SnapMaker 2 a 350 snap maker there we go uh, i'm gonna punch in the field volume so this is a rectangular printer i'm gonna go with lower left we do have a heated bed so i'm not gonna touch this now we're gonna punch in the build volume and the x axis is 320 i wrote the numbers over here the y axis is 350 and on the Z axis, we have 330. So I'm gonna punch those in. So I've done this. I'm just gonna make sure that the axes are okay here and I'm not gonna to touch this. And I'm going to make sure that the nozzle diameter is 0.4 and I only have one extruder. So once I've verified all that, I'm gonna click next. And I'm getting some warning here and you know, you should read those, um, but I've already read them and I'm gonna go forward and there we go so i'm going to leave the serial port on auto and the baud rate on auto and just hit save connection settings and auto connect on server startup and click connect and lo and behold i'm connected to the printer we've already connected a camera so i'm going to go ahead and look at the control tab and there we go i can see the printer the next thing that I want to do is to install the plugins that we're using. And to do this, I'm simply going to copy the list from a different printer that we have here. And I'm going to go into configuration. And here on the bottom, the, this is the list of plugins that we're going to use. So it's dashboard, display layer progress, Octolapse, preheat button, print time genius plugin. Uh, it's not that accurate, but I'm going to install it anyway. Uh, resource monitor, telegram, and this is it. So I'm gonna fast forward this part, bear with me. Okay, so I'm just gonna install the first plugin so you see how it's done. So I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom here, click get more. And let's install the dashboard plugin. So I click dashboard and I click install. I'm gonna put a list of the plugin that we're using in the description below. If you're using any other interesting plugins, please let us know in the comments.
This is the list of plugins we installed. I hope you've enjoyed this. Now I'm going to have to restart Octoprint to finish the installation. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. So that's going to take a few seconds. I can close this one. Okay, I'm going to do this later. So this is the Telegram configuration. I'm going to do this later. Maybe I'll do a video, a different video about this. And I have Octolapse, so I'm going to disable Octolapse so I'll be able to do any prints. And just to make sure that the connection is working, I'm going to preheat the SnapMaker and start a print. So I'm going to preheat the extruder into 210 degrees and preheat the bed over to 60 degrees. Now this is important. While you're using the Octoprint interface, you cannot touch the little smartphone thingy on the SnapMaker. If you do this, then it'll take over and maybe your extruder will stop heating, maybe something else will happen. You have to choose, it's either Octoprint or the phone controller. So make sure you make the choice and stick with it. Okay, now that we have everything set up and kind of preheat, I'm gonna take my calibration cube and go ahead and print this. So as you can see, it's uploaded. I'm gonna click it to load it into the Octoprint. And I'm gonna wait a little bit until both the extruder and the bed are at the right temperature before I go, I click print. And I'm gonna go ahead and click print. I'm gonna move to the control tab and just watch the printer dance. This is it for today. If you've enjoyed this video, click the like button, the share button, the subscribe button, just hit all the buttons on the screen. Uditi Roche, Ayolama, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.